One, two, three, two, two, three. here coming to you today with a solo for the classic old gospel song Angel Band. I had a detailed backup lesson that I had done in this in the past and I had a request if I could do a lead version for this song. So I kind of worked up a, what I would call maybe an advanced beginner arrangement. We're going to do solos for the verse and the chorus. Remember we're in 3-4 time so we're going to work on playing in 3-4 and kind of converting some of our classic bluegrass licks and rolls to 3-4. I'll break down both the solos note for note and then show you even some more backup you can do, kind of some really basic backup. Just more practice in 3-4 time, really just getting really used to feeling that rhythm of 3-4. That's what we're going to work on for this lesson. All right, let's start breaking down this advanced beginner version of Angel Band in the key of G. Here we go. All right, so let's start breaking down the verse to Angel Band. So let's play the first nine measures. That'll be like the opening melody line, and then we'll break it down in smaller sections. Here we go. try and keep it pretty close to the melody for this song so let's start breaking it down phrase by phrase so remember we're in three four times so we have three quarter notes per measure one two three one two three one two three or for playing eighth notes one and two and three and one and two and three and you're really going to want to keep that rhythm in your head it's easy to accidentally slip into four four time so that's what we're really going to want to work on for this lesson so we're going to play our pickup in measure one. We're going to play the open fourth string on beat three. So count one, two, three. Playing with my thumb on the fourth string. One, two. One, two, three. And then we're going to play that note again in measure two, the open fourth string on beat one. And that'll be a quarter note. And then we're going to play a little partial roll. We're going to do open fifth string. Uh, open third string with your index finger of your right hand. Second fret of the fourth string and then open first string. It'll be like the alternating thumb roll, T-I-T-M. So we're doing a quarter note, and then a little partial roll. You could loop measure two just to practice it. Make sure you're giving beat one a full quarter note. So one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and Up to measure three, open third string. Second fret on the third string with your in, uh, middle finger, middle finger of your left hand. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I like using my index and middle finger of my right hand. I'm going to pinch strings three and one while sliding that note up from two to four. So that's how I like to do it with my index and middle finger of my right hand. You could also try thumb and middle of your right hand and do it that way. I don't know, for me, index and middle sounds better, I think. So what I do is I walk up. And a couple ways you could do that if you didn't like it. One, you could play, and then just play the open second string. 
then that would work fine. Or you could play and then slide up without the pinch if you didn't like that pinch. But again, we're trying to fill up that sound, kind of accent that melody. We're also sliding into that melody note to kind of mimic a vocal quality. So we have. Don't slide too quick, get a little bit of that first note. And then we're gonna actually slide right back down and go into a C. So you basically slide up with your middle finger and then you slide it right back down and that's gonna be the first note, second fret of the third string. We're gonna play the alternating thumb roll, go into your C. So I have my second finger down on the second fret of the third string. I've got my other two fingers down on my C. I've got my index finger on the first fret of the second string, ring finger, second fret, first string. So I'm kind of, this is a common C position where your middle finger will move back and forth between the second fret of the third string and the second fret of the fourth string. So what I'm doing is I'm starting on the third string with that second finger and I'm doing a little roll, take my finger off and move it down. And then I do thumb middle to end it. So you have. And then we do open four string, pinch outside strings, and then thumb middle kind of starts the next melody. So you have. So let's play that top first five. So let's play those first five measures. Here we go. One, two, slides. And then the next melody line is that, uh, so that's the my latest sun is sinking fast and then my race is nearly run I believe are the lyrics for the next phrase. We're going to do a 2-5 slide on the 4 string with a forward roll T-I-M and then hit the 5th string and then put your middle finger on the 2nd fret of the 3rd string and play that note. And you have to use your index finger of your right hand because the last note was your th of your thumb on the fifth string. So you have. So one and two and three. One and two and three. And then what we do here is we, we're going to do that same pinching thing we just did in measure three. So we slide up with that pinch and then pinch the outside strings, thumb middle, and then pinch strings three and one again, slide back down and then open. Kind of trying to mit like, again, mimic a vocal quality where you, you're bending and sliding into notes. So the melody there is kind of just, we're kind of sliding into it and then open third string. And then a little backwards roll, which just fills up that measure and then pinch and then thumb on the fourth string. So measure eight's a good little fill lick. We have, so I put my middle finger on the second fret of the fourth string and do that little backwards roll. So again, the melody for the second part is So it kind of starts in measure five with that little pickup. And we're implying this melody with a slide. Instead of just playing the open third string, we're doing a slide and then slide again. Right? So kind of notice how we're filling up that melody with slides. I like that little backslide. That's a good one to practice. Try and get some good tone out of your banjo there. So you could essentially loop measures two through nine because 
the melody starts over again in measure 10. So basically that open four string at the end of measure nine is equivalent to measure one, your pickup. So you could loop it. So we have starting from essentially measure nine, now go back into measure two. swing to this song too so instead of like really straight it's kind of that so I'd probably add a little bit of that it's kind of personal preference but I think adding that little bit of that bounce kind of helps the melody come to life singing the lyrics in my head. 